18 cm tall object in just 2 hours. The print result is not super awesome, but it is acceptable for a quick prototype. Hello everyone, I am Dennis Wang. This is Anycubic M5S, the first 12K printer with leveling free, which means no need to level your build plate at all. I want to share some interesting stuff I find. We shall see if it's good or bad. Anycubic M5S has the typical yellow acrylic cover. It doesn't do a very good job blocking UV light because some light can still leak inside. And the USB plug is at the side of the printer. Power plug and switch located at the back of the printer. It comes with a screen guard and you have to install it yourself. I will make another video on how to install the screen guard bubble free. And your typical accessories and this super long allen key hmm i wonder why any cubic m5s has dual linear rail and your typical lead screw for the zero the stability is somewhat questionable during dial indicator tests when moving up and down the result is great But when I pull it sideways, this happens. A very big turn knob to hold the build plate, which I quite like. And the build plate sits very nice in place. But it is kinda uncomfortable to hold. The plate also has laser edge surface to help with addition. The resin tank has ACF film and fit to prevent scratch and dust to stick to your field. The light is not very uniform. It ranging from 1.8 at the lowest to 2.6 at the highest. So calibrating the exposure is gonna be fun. And this printer is very loud. Even louder compared to screaming kitten asking some milk. Checking out the user interface, it is quite user-friendly and easy to understand. But I find one important function missing, the ability to set zero offset. By the way, during printing, you can do a quick change to the print setting too. This multiple exposure from any cubic is called RERF, Resin Exposure Range Finder. The best feature from all any cubic printer and save lots of time for calibrating the exposure. First test print for bottom exposure calibration and leveling coming out very well. And I am at 5 second bottom exposure. When removing them, some are breaking, especially at the front side of the plate. This is indicating compression issue. So I print this disc indicating the position with upper left, lower left, upper right, and lower right. But the letter is missing on lower right. But it is fine. I use forum workshop to add the letter. Lower left and lower right very hard to remove and they are breaking. Upper left measure 2.1, the correct height. Upper right measure 2 mm and about 0.1 undersize. Lower left 1.6 and lower right at 1.7. They are very undersized, way shorter compared to the design at 2.1 mm. The leveling free got my curiosity. And I have to open up the printer to see the mechanism. One of the bolts got loose, so I have to use flyer. And this is why they give you such a long allen key. The bolts are deep inside. And good luck if you loosen the bolts. And check out that serious face. <laughs> the edges are glued, so it took quite some effort to pry them open. And at closer inspection, I see some spring under the screen frame. 
So the leveling free is just a fixed build plate with some spring under the screen to compensate for the plate pressure on the screen, which is a great idea and simple design if it works. Also, I think the screen will have a high risk of cracking or break from the constant pressure. Maybe there is protective tempered glass on the screen to prevent it from cracking due to the pressure. Uh, maybe. Print status detection. I'm not sure to say it works or not. Because when I switched to darker resin for detailed prints, my exposure calibration showed the resin exposure at 1 second. And I had some fail and partial fail, but I see no detection in action. But the print is finished, so at least I can still use it. And I end up raising it to 1.3 seconds to reprint the fail model. Now let's shift our focus to check the print result up close. The first stability torture test. I see no wobble lines. The result is very good in my opinion, but I noticed some harsh surface here. It probably from the very fast print speed or something else, I'm not quite sure. For the anti-aliasing test, they keep breaking when I remove from the plate, so I end up adding support to the model. So if you use Anycubic M5S, make sure you always use support and do not print flat. But the good news is anti-aliasing works on M5S, not super smooth, but it is acceptable. On anti-aliasing 1, basically anti-aliasing off, voxel all over the surface. Anti-aliasing 4, the voxels have like shadows and still very visible. Anti-aliasing 8, the edges of the voxels start to get blurry. Anti-aliasing 16, the surface is very smooth, although at some angle I can see traces of the voxels. But I can say the anti-aliasing result is good. And all these are printed at 0.1mm layer height. For wire mesh model, the 0.1 and 0.2 mm wire mesh do not survive at all on straight wire mesh. And on the tilted wire mesh, the 0.2 printed very well, but 0.1 still fail. Using the high speed resin to check detail is not a very good idea because of the very soft color. And even though I print this leather model at 0.03 layer height with 1 second exposure, the details are not sharp. So using this darker resin at 0.03 mm, my calibration show 1 second exposure, but it has partial fail. I reprint them at 1.3 second exposure to produce a good result. But the result very bothers me. On the right here, printed with Nova 3D Well 3 SE at 0.03 and 1.3 seconds exposure. And on the left, Anycubic M5S at 0.03 and 1.3 seconds exposure. Print on Anycubic 12K screen doesn't seem as sharp as Nova 3D 8K screen. Comparing the 1.3 with 1 seconds also has somewhat similar quality on Anycubic M5S. So in overall, Nova 3D 8K still has sharper details. And for the 0.05mm letters on the back here, on M5S, I cannot read anything at all. On Nova 3D, I can read the letter very well. This Superman is 18cm tall. Using the default setting for high speed resin, the print finish in 2 hours. But definitely, you don't want to use this setting for detailed prints because it causes blooming, as you can see from these white flakes. And the stepping lines are big. But if you only need a quick prototype print, and quick visual inspection or check dimension and not caring for details, this speed print might work for you. On my mirror model here, at 0.1, it loses some fur details, and at 0.03, the fur details look good. And the small stitching details at the back here are nicely printed, but the 3D micron letters are very soft and almost gone, and this is very weird, and I have no explanation for this. If you like what you watch so far, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. Now let us admire this 90mm Terminator model from Warbus Maven, printed on Anycubic M5S with layer height 0.03 and 1 second exposure. 
with some soothing ASMR and music. And let me know your opinion about this print result in comment section. Here I have the 45mm size terminator, left is at the cubic M5S and right from Nofra 3D and right from Nofra and right from Nofra 3D well SE. Eh. Left is any cubic M5S and right Nova 3D well 3SE. The vein details are sharper on Nova 3D, same with the fist logo here and at the hammer. Same with the facial details, any cubic is not as sharp as Nova 3D. Overall, any cubic M5S details, the world first 12K printer is less sharper compared to Nova 3D, which is only 8K printer. But I don't think ACF film causing any cubic losing details because I have reviewed my T12K print with PFA and ACF, both have the same print quality for details. So, what do you think could cause the loss of details on Anycubic M5S? Let's have discussion on the comment section or my Facebook group. Link in video description. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you Spaghetti Box and Jake McKee for becoming my patron.